looking the way. Oh! Oh my god! What's up, Treasure Fam? This is Dallas. I'm at the river right now under a super busy and loud bridge. We're in the heart of Atlanta. And there's a lot of crime that goes on here. If I do find anything that I can return back to the owner or that I can turn over to the police or something like that, I'm gonna do that at the very end. So make sure to keep on watching if you wanna see something like that. The water looks pretty clear. I'm excited to get in there and see what we can find. So uh, I finished my drone. And I'm looking for it right now. Oh! <laughs> I found it! Hey, it's a jar of honey. <laughs> what the heck? This is one of the dirtiest rivers I've swam in in a long time. Very, very, very uh, littered. People have been dropping stuff. It's crazy. Hey, oh my gosh, what? Let's put a light on. Look at that! It's like a giant boat for like a street lamp. Oh, there's two of them! What the heck? Guys, I'm out here with a couple of buddies. Uh, I'm not going to tell you their names, so you guys tell me in the comments if you recognize these guys. Here, get a good look. Get a good look at this guy. What's up, y'all? So. I'm not going to share what they find in my videos. If you don't know who they are, look in the comments, get a clue, go check out their videos. I think we're going to find some crazy stuff today. Oh, it's a VHS tape! <laughs> what the crap? Oh, what's this? Oh crap, a battery! Oh, I definitely want to get that out of the river. The sink. Another golf ball. Put it away. It's a Glock! I gotta put this away. To get it somewhere safe. And I am gonna call, I need to call the police. This, this could have been part of a crime scene. This could be uh, something serious, you guys. So I'm gonna go get on the shore and I'm going to uh, give the police a call. I'm getting onto the shore to put this down. But I'm also clicking around the area, they might have dropped more than one gun at the same spot. What the heck? Um... That's... that's weird. Okay, I, I don't know what this is, I'm, I'm going to be very careful with it and I'm going to pick it up on shore, it looks, whatever it is, it looks like it was meant to be untouched, so I'm going to be extremely careful with this. Um, freaking believable. Put that right there until the cops come. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Yeah, dude. 
This is a pretty old bottle. Trying to make out what the hell it is. Hard to say. Hey! Got a vape mod. Don't vape, kids. Oh! Oh my gosh! What? Another gun? Two guns? Oh my gosh! What? Where am I? Where the crap am I? Who is dropping all these guns? What the crap? Oh no, you found two. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are on. You got Dude, I got a Glock over there too. Yeah. Two guns. Isn't that insane? Well guys, it's been a very, very, very interesting day on the river. Not one, but two VHS tapes. Uh, I don't think these would be Disney movies, so it's probably a good thing that I can't see what movies these are. I found a golf ball. I found a vape mod. Looks like a uh, smock, smoke, don't vape kids. Huge battery that I'm gonna throw away. So I'm not gonna touch this with my bare hand, but get a gander at this. Look at, look at, the, look at the bottom here. It's full of liquid, and there's some weird off-color stuff inside. It's electrical taped with some uh, railroad spikes on the outside. I have no idea what it is. If you guys know what this might be, uh, please enlighten me. I would love to know what I just found. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna open it. For my own health and for the uh, safety of everybody around me, I'm gonna leave it shut. But by far the craziest finds of the day have to be these two handguns, you guys. So this is a Glock 9mm. I couldn't make out what model it was. And this looks like a 22 uh, little pea shooter. This is only my second and third gun I've ever found in my entire life, by the way. I don't find these often. And when you do find a gun, especially under a bridge like this, it just screams like this is somebody that was trying to ditch a murder weapon or an armed robbery weapon or a stolen weapon or something like that. So to find two of these in one area is pretty sketchy. I'm gonna go ahead and call the cops right now, um, get them over here to take a look at these guns. I'm gonna pass them over to them. Um, like I said, if these are if these are linked to a crime or something like that, I definitely want to make sure that those get back to the police. Hey guys, the cops are on their way right now. They're just pulling in. Let's go ahead and give them those guns. As it was. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Yeah, no problem. Well guys, the cops are uh, leaving right now. Um, they were super nice to come down and take a look at these guns for me. So I wasn't gonna open the jar and I didn't, but uh, Adam over here was like, dude, we gotta, we gotta find out what's in that jar. I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. So he did and um, I think he's regretting it now. I'm a little bit regretting it, yeah. Let's take a look. So what you see there is a... So I think that's a little bit of witchcraft going on there. And thanks to this guy, I'm gonna have bad luck for nine no, I years. Was, I was the one that opened it. So <laughs> we're gonna dispose of it the right way so that luck will not, well, we'll have good luck still. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I had a blast. I, if you guys had a good time on this adventure, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Everybody yeah. found some crazy stuff, so make sure to check out everybody's videos. Also make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon on one of those videos. Bye.